Hey guys, um, so I talked so much about, or not so much about, I really haven't done that many videos, but I've talked about my um, recovery from anorexia, um, eight years of it on this channel, that's the whole point, <laughs> um, and I have realized in the past year and a half um, of this new period of my life that I, like, the way that I use the word recovery is pretty different from the way that I, that I used to think of that term, and also pretty different from the way that most people probably think of that term or use that term, um, as it pertains to eating disorders, that is. Um, so for, I, I was sick eight years, right, and, um, there was only a very small portion of that eight years where I was really, truly, 100% immersed in my eating disorder mindset, where that was everything that that controlled all of my thoughts and actions and and intentions and feelings and everything. And that was scary. But the the main part of that eight years, almost all of it, I was I wasn't 100% immersed in that. Um, there were points during those eight years where I was better off or worse off. Um, but during those th those times when I was better off, I thought of myself as um, like if if someone were to like if it were to come up in conversation and I were to say to someone that that I had an eating disorder, I wouldn't say I have anorexia. I would have said I had anorexia or I had an eating disorder in high school or, you know, something like that. I mean, that's how I felt about it at the time. I felt like, um, and in relation, I guess, you know, I was better off than I had been. So, um, you know, that was my perspective. I, I felt like I was, like, that was as good as it was going to get. I had this idea, basically, and this is really, I mean, kind of at the heart of it all. I really believed that eating disorder was something that I was going to struggle with for every single day of the rest of my life. And um, especially after so many years. When I was on year eight, it was like, <laughs> this is clearly going to be my life. This is not, this is not going away. There's no way this could possibly go away. So to me, when I was in those states of being like a little bit better, not quite just totally down the drain, um, I really felt like I was in recovery and that that was, um, you know, a term that honestly described me. But um, that was coming from the perspective of believing that recovery, real recovery, like feeling like a normal person was not even possible. Then, <laughs> at the end of those eight years, um, for um, a couple different reasons, but mostly because um, I had done a ton of work um, over those eight years and gradually valuing myself a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, finally got to a place where I wanted to live and I felt worthy of not suffering anymore and um, had had come to the conclusion through all of my experience and all my research that um, the way for me to take full care of myself and actually um, truly feel amazing and move forward in life was to do what I did, start eating unlimited calories from fruit and um, high-carb beef. When I went through that shift, it was such a huge change mentally and emotionally and physically. My, my experience in my body is so different now. Not because I've gained weight, which I have, by the way, I've gained about 40 pounds, or 30 or 40, I mean, depending on where you measure back to from, you know. Um, and, my, my my mental state and everything shifted so greatly that I I 
could look back honestly at the eight years previous to that and realize that I was not in recovery at all during that time. There, that I was, I was getting closer and closer and closer with every little setback and every little challenge and every bit of work that I did. But I wasn't in recovery. I was working towards it. I don't know. I realize now that that I was I was not in recovery that during that time and because I was it was still a struggle ever even though I was trying it was I had to try it was it was a struggle and I was um I was fighting off thoughts of I'm horrible and don't deserve to eat and everyone would be better off without me kind of thing all the time <laughs> like there were there were times when it was a little bit better but it was it was always there the point that i'm trying to make right now is that um if your idea of recovery is or being being in recovery is still struggling and if you believe that you're you're always going to be struggling. I completely understand because I believe that to my core for so long. Um, but I don't believe that that has to be your destiny. 